Hi there. Hi guys, hi guys, hi. Welcome to Geek by Heart. The new Geek by Heart. I'm Lainey. I'm Jay. And we're gonna be talking about... Pet Cemetery. Woo! Woo! You know, we've been out for a while because we're trying to get things organized and, and what we're gonna be doing. So um, things gonna be a little bit different in how we review movies. You know, as usual, Please subscribe to us and we are here to talk about anything that's geeky. That's right. And we are going to talk about today's horror. Well, first of all, April is a treasure troll. Mm. April 2019, geeks are at it. Yep. Oh all my God. The there now. is so much going on. Obviously the two big things, Game of Thrones and Endgame. Oh yeah. But today we are going to talk yes. about Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery. So let's get it on. All so, right. Let's get it. Okay, right. so uh, let's get into it. All right, Pet, Pet Cemetery. Cemetery. How Jinx. you think was? How you think Jinx. it was? Okay, Pet Cemetery, because I said it and he didn't respond. It. All right, Jay. Uh, how do I think it was? So first off, um, I thought it was a step above the remake. I mean, the um, original. The original. Okay. I oh, mean, okay. it still held the same story. Basically. They move, a family moves into country, um, and one of the children gets run over by a tractor truck. Mm. Um, they try to bring that child back to life. And like going to the, pet, the cemetery where the pets are, or the cemetery where the pets are cemetered. You understand what I'm saying? Um, basically where the pets are basically buried. buried. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, and um, once that happens, you know, all hell breaks loose. You know, as as, as usual, the, the movie which stars um, Jason Clark, Amy, what a Simex. I don't know how Simex, to say your name. Uh, Simex. There was like two people that and, was one. And John and John Lithgow. And no, John, not John Lithgow was the old guy. Yes, and Jetty or Jet, I apologize, I'm saying your name wrong, yeah. Lawrence as the young girl. Exactly, and the movie was directed by um, Kevin Kolsch mm -hmm. and Dennis Widmeyer. All right. Dennis Widmeyer. All right. So, um, what do you think about it? What's your good geek and bad geek? Overall, I had a very positive experience watching this movie. Mm -hmm. okay. So, off the back, you knew it was gonna be a rough ride between the black guy dying mm -hmm. and between the wife's sister and their backstory mm -hmm. and how she was portrayed. Mm -hmm. So I like that. I am really glad that they changed the dead sister mm -hmm. instead of Gage. Okay. Like killing Gage, killing a two year old, and don't get me wrong, the original two year old, I forgot his name, he was a brilliant actor. Mm -hmm. Like that kid, rocked but it was so much better with the young lady because now she's no able girl. to actually talk she's able to actually really do mm. scary things mm. while like you had the little boys going lay, 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 and that was it so like I was really excited about seeing that change the ending it went there mm. it went there and I loved it like, I am a fan of sometimes leaving the theater uncomfortable and the fact that everyone does not get their happy ending. I love the ending. The fact that you had almost no survivors. I am hanging on to see if they're going to do a Pet Cemetery 2 and seeing what happens to Gage. Is Gage going to be Gage, uh, zombie Gage? Or is Gage going to die of starvation and thirst and, and, and heat stroke or whatever in the car? Like, what is going to happen? Oh, that would be a good. That would be a good look on 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 our uh, pet cemetery, which they started. I was about to say. I, I hope you're not talking about the boy dying in the car. No, I'm not. You know what? I think they uh, they started to uh, <laughs> started to pen uh, pet cemetery too. Okay. Um, and and I, I, I'm not sure what they're gonna go in that direction, but I basically have to wait and see. All right. Um, well, for me, um, the good geek that I have about this movie was the fact that um. Uh, the movie was simply 
like the first, like the original one. And I guess so. it's more modern, which I really do appreciate mm -hmm. as well. And um, the fact that they switch up the little boy to make the sister die instead of the little boy was good. Mm -hmm. um, and I liked the ending. The ending was basically, because for me, I thought that the ending was going to have like the the, 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 the father is going to win the win like kill the little girl like, i did too and whatever the case i did is. too the whole yep. twist of the movie was really good yeah and i love the tone of the movie the, mo the tone of the movie was was pretty much pretty much acceptable okay you know um i i it wasn't that it, to me it wasn't that scary and and in some sense it was a little bit creepy okay you know what i mean yes yes yeah. yes and, yes, and john yes. lithgow i think john lithgow did well with his performance as the um, the old guy and his backstory was very much interesting mm -hmm. with his wife um but they didn't really talk what? about that i'd like to see a um a prequel with that movie though i'd like to see a prequel especially with the town because i know the town would be yes. in some sort of um have some sort of backstories or past stories or yes. what made the whole yes. cemetery um, what it is and 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 that little I think that little that little creature that was in the um the, the I think it was a Wendigo the Wendigo yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I want to see another that story could, that could happen yeah I wanted to see another, a, a story so the backstory would be perfectly well for that okay um so you know other that from that uh, I'm, I'm I, there's nothing that I, I really want to take away from the movie oh you didn't like the it only thing oh the only thing I can say about the movie is that it was a little bit boring at first it was a little I bit boring um you know I was like <clears throat> head bobbing you, you know? nah you weren't that bad yeah you weren't that bad yeah, but, yeah. but um yeah it, <laughs> it was you know it, it was it was pretty much um boring at first and then it started to build you know, it's like you're trying to set a place where the start, like where the where the story can be started mm -hmm. for you to understand, so that it goes back into the family. Well, I, I did find fault with this film. Um, I thought that first of all, I know it's canon, like I know it's established in the original film, and I believe in the books as well. Mm. That the sister. I didn't read the book. Yeah, I didn't either. So, um, but I, I heard a lot about it. But mm. the sister. Um, of the wife mm -hmm. and her backstory, mm -hmm. I didn't like that. I really thought that that should have been the husband's backstory. Mm -hmm. I think it would have done well with the character and then especially because he was the one to say, you know what, I'm going to bring back my child from, from death. I think that that motivation mm -hmm. would have been so much more compelling had it been a part of his story. Mm -hmm. And for me, sometimes I felt like this story, especially the way that this was done, like I get it. Like, Gage, I guess, had The Shining, right? Mm, yeah. Like, he could see dead people, get that. But, like, there were times where I was genuinely confused. Is this a zombie flick or is this a haunted house? Mm. Like, I felt like the, the genre mix was a little bit too messy. Mm. And I felt like you should have just, you know, stuck with one or, or if that was it. Mm. Like, I felt like there were times I'm like, no, this is a haunted, no, it's not supposed to be a haunted flick. So those two things really, really bugged me. Mm -hmm. I think maybe one more thing. You know what was I? Not, I'm not cutting you, but what I think was annoying was the sister and her flashbacks with her sister. I was okay I, with that. I, I, as I, I just wish it wasn't about the wife. I wish it would have been about the husband because it would have made his motivations for bringing back his dead child mm -hmm. that much more compelling. But but the thing about it is that the, the whole idea of of, of the sister, the the, the 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 mother thinking about the sister. It's like it was taking me away from the whole. I agree idea with that. I agree with that. Being a pet cemetery. I I do and, agree and with that. And that goes back to one of the things I was hoping for. They probably they could have had added it in the movie was try and 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 give a, like probably a, an, um, another visual that shows someone who did that who bring their family to the, the cemetery, it raise up and it kill all of them and then you can pan back to this family. But apparently it wasn't <clears throat> like that. I can see that, but I'm okay that they didn't do that. I'm okay mm. that they just showed this family and didn't do like a, a flashback, but I am like excited about your idea about doing a prequel. Yeah, that I mean, that would be good. I hope they do it in this other movie that's coming up. That would be good because then they can deviate from the fact that they had a shitty ass <laughs> sequel 
from the first from the, movie. From the first first. Movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. other other movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, all right, so what's your overall thought process? Like, what you grade in this movie? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give it a seven. Seven out of ten? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna give it a seven. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. Um, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Um, it was confident. Yeah. Um, it was a good movie, mm -hmm. but I don't think it was great. Um, I do think it was a really good seven right scary. direction mm -hmm. from the original film. Oh, yeah, they never had jump scares. Never, well, they had, they had jump, quite no, jump scares. No, they had no, jump they scares, had, but it was it was for a, it was for a reason. I I felt it was, it was like a, a checkbox jump scare. Like it was like right. a whole bunch of jump jump scares that weren't. You Th know, that's true, and I think that the ones they did have was like I said, like a checkbox. Like okay, um, he's going to the closet. Check that. Mm. Or he's doing this. Check that. I think the one jump scare that was really good, which they should have left out of the trailers, was when um the old guy John. John Lithgow was going down the stairs and you thought that he was going to be like attacked from behind by the girl mm. but instead she got that little scalpel mm. and took out I was like oh my god you but see like to see the big old tear from his facts but I'm like that why is, did you that put that crazy. in the trailer because I already knew it was gonna happen mm -hmm. you know but other than that like it was a solid movie it's yeah. definitely a solid movie Go see it. Yeah, go see it. Uh, you enjoy it. Uh, yeah. As usual, we are in Twitter. We are on Instagram. Instagram you don't even remember. We are. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know. You don't even we remember. D by heart, Twitter, Twitter, Instagram. And if you like what you see, hit that button like. Comment down below for any questions or comments. We would love to hear from you. And until next time, I'm Lainey. I'm this J is JJJ. J J J you shouldn't be talking because I didn't say Jinx yet. I didn't take you out of chance. Oh, whatever, man. <laughs> See you on the flip side of things, people. Facts. Peace out.